the rest of the story. For folks in and around Hot Springs, Virginia, it was the event of 1986. A high-level international meeting called the Southeast Japanese Trade Conference. Virginia's governor was host. The governors of four other states attended, including the lieutenant governor of Florida, also hundreds of Japanese businessmen. The purpose was to encourage Japanese industry in the southeastern United States. The location of the meeting was an elegant five-star tradition-steeped mountain resort called the Homestead. A magnificent establishment operated by one family for a hundred years since 1891. Now I want you to meet John Gazzola. He's the Homestead Public Relations Director, also a member of the Governor's Advisory Committee on Tourism. Naturally, he's going to play a big role in this Japanese business conference. Days prior to the meeting, he receives a phone call from the Governor's office informing him of the anticipated presence of one Japanese VIP in particular, a man named uh, Yoshio Katagiri. Yoshio Katagiri. Duly alerted, John proceeds with the preparations. Sure enough, one morning after the conference is underway, John's approached by Mr. Katagiri himself. After a ceremonial bow, the businessman extends his right hand and says, John, we may have met before. And then he proceeds to relate the rest of the story. For Yoshio Katagiri, it turns out, is no stranger to the elegant homestead. He was a guest there once before at another gathering of VIP Japanese, and he's never forgotten that impressive place, the meticulous manicured golf links and grounds, the spectacular views, the superb accommodations, the phenomenal gourmet food, the incomparable courtesy of the resort staff. But there is something else that makes Mr. Katagiri's memory of Hot Springs, Virginia, an almost magical one. For you see, it was there at the grand old homestead that Yoshio Shield, met a fellow countryman, an older man who took a liking to him, who promptly began talking about a beautiful daughter he had back in Japan. When we return, you must meet her, the older gentleman told Yoshio, and when they did, he did. And that's when Yoshio Katagiri turned to John and said, may I present my wife. It was the same woman, the daughter of the man who had met him in Hot Springs, a perfect match made at the storied homestead. And as pretty as she had been when Yoshio first saw her some 44 years before. Now, Homestead's PR director, John Gazzola, was but the young son of a homestead chef back in those days in the early months of 1942 when Yoshio Katagiri first came to Hot Springs against his will. You've heard much about the internment of Japanese Americans in the United States in the months following the attack on Pearl Harbor, about the degradation and sometimes unfairness of it all. But once upon a time, 330 Japanese diplomats were hastily removed from Washington, D.C. and were taken to this magnificent Virginia resort for four months until American diplomats could be exchanged for them. And then and there, on the brink of World War chaos, on the edge of a bloody abyss, something wonderful happened. Of course, now you know what it was. Because now you know the rest of the story.